Adam here. Listen. There's a lot of birds singing here. But there's one in particular. That one. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Listen. There's so much going on, huh? Listen. I hear blackbird, robin. Black caps, wood pigeon. But the one that I'm trying to highlight is a song thrush. There's a blackbird there. There. Da -da, da -da. Da -da, da -da. They often repeat a phrase and get quite complicated. And they normally sing in medium to high cover. They normally, they're quite hard to see. They're medium sized birds, brown with a speckled chest. And they sing beautifully. And in English, their name is, is that song thrush because of what they do. Ooh, and there's wood pigeons flying over. Look, ooh, coming right at us. Ooh, look at them, look at them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Four wood pigeons. Now they're, they're nesting and they're in groups and they're very social and they're singing a lot. You probably hear them if you're in Europe. You'll be hearing them. There they are, they're still flying around now. But there's so much now going on with different birds singing that it gets more difficult to distinguish individual birds because it just sounds like a whole bunch of stuff like a symphony and in a few weeks they'll be even more because there's still more summer migratory birds that are going to return here that still haven't arrived so that's why I said before it's good to start learning the birds early in the spring like February, March when they, a lot of them first start singing so you recognize each and the reason I know birds is not because somebody taught me or because I did a course on it or anything which you can do that I know birds because when I was about eight nine I used to hear them and be curious as to what they are so I would really creep up on them and then hear the sound find the bird and recognize what it was identify the bird and get to recognize the song and I don't know all the songs some ornithologist friends I've got know every single song and they're amazing because don't forget birds have many different calls it's not just their singing they have alarm calls and all kinds of calls so one bird can have many many different kinds of sounds it produces depending on the time of year and what it's doing and what's going on so there's a lot to learn and there's a whole language of birds that can connect you to your place and to where you are in the same way you can learn French or Italian or German or English or Chinese or Japanese it's useful to kind of get to learn some of the bird language too to connect you to your place so wherever you are right now I guarantee you there's going to be bird singing see if you can see them because you can hear them. I'm getting old now, so my hearing's not as good. My eyes aren't so good. But some of, most of you guys who see this are much younger than me. You've got really good senses. See if you can hear the bird. See if you can locate it. Even if you're inside, look out the window on the balcony in your garden, wherever it is. See if you can hear it and locate where it is. Is it high up in the tree? Is it low in the bushes? Is it on the ground? Where is it? Is it flying? See if you can find it and then see if you can actually see it and see if you can identify it. There's lots of ways of doing that, lots of resources, books, and online, all the rest. And it's not so easy. So you've got to start to learn not just to recognize the features that you're looking at using your skills of observation and the sounds you're listening to, but also differentiate between things that are similar but different. So like some birds look very, very similar, but they live in different habitats. Some birds look very, very similar, but they're there at different times of the year. So you have to start learning and you have to start working out which bird it probably is. Of course, anybody that's being honest 
would probably say it's probably, especially if it's bird song, it's probably this. Like I know a lot of the birds, but you know, some of them I'm not so sure still. And every year I have to relearn them. So now's a good time since you're keeping still. Get familiar with the sounds around you, especially the sounds in nature. And like I keep saying to you, even if you're in the city, it doesn't matter, there's nature around you too. And it's spring, a lot of the birds are being territorial and they're nesting and, they're, and that's why they're singing. That's what they say. Maybe they're singing because they just like it, but the scientists say they're singing because they're being territorial and they're, you know, the males calling for the females or the babies or birds when they're feeding or moving around in groups together, reassuring each other with little sounds, different sounds that birds make. But use this time. Listen to what's going on around you and see if you can start to recognize things. Because those things will always be there, wherever you are. Even if you change country, some of those same birds will be there. And if you move to a place that's far, far away, there'll be new birds and new sounds to recognize and learn about and connect to. So enjoy being where you are and the music that's created for you around you. Take it easy, guys.